Hello, and welcome to another episode of Talk Travel with Glenn, where we explore the most intriguing and off-the-beaten-path destinations around the globe. I'm Glenn, your travel guide on this exciting journey, and today we're diving into a place that's truly enchanting, Chiloé Island, Chile. Buckle up as we embark on a 30-minute exploration of this unique destination. Let's get started. A country that stretches like a ribbon down the edge of South America. It's a land of extremes, towering mountains, stark deserts and icy glaciers. But tucked away off the southern coast lies a place unlike any other. Chiloé Island. Imagine a place shrouded in mist, where time seems to move a little slower. A place where the air is thick with the scent of salt and wood smoke. This is Shiloe. Here, ancient forests cling to the slopes of rolling hills. Colorful wooden houses perch on stilts above the water, and the spirits of myth and legend whisper on the wind. This is an island where the past and the present are intertwined. Chiloé is a place that gets under your skin. It's a place that stays with you long after you've left. In this series, we're going to explore this magical island. We'll uncover its secrets, we'll meet its people, and we'll discover what makes Chiloé so special. Chiloé is an island steeped in folklore. For centuries, the islanders have told stories of mythical creatures and supernatural beings. These stories are more than just fairy tales. They are a way of life they are woven into the fabric of the island's culture. One of the most famous mythical creatures of Chiloé is the Trauco. He is a mischievous forest spirit, often depicted as a short, ugly man with a powerful gaze. Legend has it that the Trauco can seduce women with just a look. Then there's the Kalush, a ghostly ship that is said to sail the waters around Chiloé. The Kalush is crewed by the souls of those lost at sea. It is said that those who hear its mournful music will soon meet a watery grave. But Chiloé's tall tales and mythology is not all darkness and fear. There are also stories of benevolent spirits like the Pincoya, a mermaid who brings good luck to fishermen. Getting to Chiloé is an adventure in itself. From the mainland, you can take a ferry across the Chacao Channel. As you approach the island, the first thing you'll notice is the tranquility. The air is clean and fresh. The pace of life is slower. The main town on the island is Castro. With its colorful palafitos, houses built on stilts over the water, Castro is a sight to behold. But to truly experience Chiloé, you need to venture beyond the main town. You need to get out into the countryside and explore the small villages that dot the coastline. In these villages, you'll find a way of life that has changed little over the centuries. You'll meet people who are warm and welcoming, people who are proud of their island and its traditions. So, are you ready to discover the magic of Chiloé? Let's explore Chiloé. As you journey through Chiloé, you'll encounter them, the wooden churches, rising from hilltops, nestled in valleys, they stand as silent guardians of the island's soul. These aren't your typical stone cathedrals. These are structures born of the earth itself, crafted from native timber, primarily alerts and cypress, these churches are testaments to the ingenuity of the Kailat people. For centuries, they've braved the elements, their wooden shingles weathered to a silvery gray. Yet, their beauty remains undimmed. 
each one is unique, reflecting the personality of the community it serves. Some boast soaring bell towers that pierce the sky, while others have more modest, almost whimsical designs. But what unites them all is a sense of history, a palpable connection to the past. It's as if the very walls whisper tales of generations past, of faith tested and triumphs celebrated. These churches aren't just places of worship, they're community centers, gathering places where life unfolds. From baptisms to weddings to funerals, they've borne witness to the full spectrum of human experience. They are a testament to the enduring spirit of Chiloé, a place where faith and tradition are deeply intertwined with the land itself. Step inside one of these wooden wonders and you'll be transported. The air is thick with the scent of incense and old wood. Sunlight filters through stained glass windows, casting a mosaic of colors on the worn floorboards. It's a sensory experience that speaks to something deep within. Look closely and you'll see the mark of the artisan in every detail. The intricate carvings on the altar, the hand-hewn beams that support the roof, each element speaks to a time when craftsmanship was paramount. There's a humility in these details, a quiet pride in a job well done. Listen carefully, and you might just hear the echoes of the past, the murmur of prayers whispered centuries ago, the joyous strains of music celebrating a wedding, the mournful toll of a bell announcing a passing. These walls have absorbed the stories of countless lives, and they share them willingly with those who take the time to listen. It's this sense of living history that makes Shilawe's churches so special. They are more than just buildings. They are repositories of memory, tangible links to the island's rich cultural heritage. To step inside is to step back in time, to connect with the spirit of Shilawe in its purest form. What truly brings these churches to life is the spirit of the Chilo people. Their faith isn't confined to the walls of these structures. It permeates their daily lives, their interactions with one another, their relationship with the land and the sea. On Sundays, families gather, dressed in their finest attire, to attend Mass. The air hums with anticipation, children fidgeting alongside their elders, the scent of freshly baked bread wafting from nearby homes. It's a communal experience, one that reinforces the bonds of family and community. But the celebrations extend beyond the church doors. After Mass, the churchyard comes alive with music and laughter. Traditional dances passed down through generations are performed with a contagious energy. Food is shared, stories exchanged, and the sense of community is palpable. It's a joyous affirmation of life, a celebration of faith and tradition that is both heartwarming and inspiring. It's this living connection to the past that makes Chiloé so unique. In an increasingly globalized world, it's a place where tradition hasn't been relegated to museums or history books. It's alive and well, woven into the fabric of daily life, celebrated with a fervor that is both humbling and inspiring. While the churches are undoubtedly the architectural stars of Shiloé, they are just one facet of the island's charm. To truly understand the soul of Shiloé, you need to venture beyond their hallowed halls and explore the surrounding landscapes. Wander through the rolling hills, blanketed in emerald green pastures, where sheep graze peacefully against a backdrop of snow-capped volcanoes. Breathe in the fresh sea air as you stroll along the rugged coastline, watching fishermen haul in their catch of the day. Visit the small fishing villages that dot the coastline where time seems to move at a slower pace. Chat with the locals, known for their warmth and hospitality, 
and listen to their tales of the sea, steeped in folklore and seasoned with a hearty dose of humor. It's in these moments, away from the crowds, that you'll truly connect with the spirit of Shiloh. The island's magic lies not just in its architectural wonders, but in the warmth of its people, the beauty of its landscapes, and the enduring power of its traditions. It's a place that stays with you long after you've left, a reminder that sometimes the greatest treasures are found in the simplest of things. The waters around Shiloh hold more than just fish and seaweed. They hold secrets. Fishermen tell tales of strange encounters, eerie lights, and haunting melodies. These are the whispers of the deep, echoes of Shiloh's rich mythology. The Kalushé, a ghost ship, sails the waters around the archipelago, described as a three-masted schooner glowing with an otherworldly light. Its haunting music chills the soul. Some say it's the sound of the drowned, others a siren song. A tale passed down, a cautionary whisper of the sea's power. Chiloé's forests are its lifeblood, a sprawling emerald tapestry that blankets the hills and valleys. But these are no ordinary woods. They are the domain of mythical beings, like the Trauco, a forest spirit, short and stocky, with bark-like skin and ember eyes. He embodies the forest's primal power, a reminder that even familiar landscapes hold mysteries. The liminal spaces where land meets sea are often seen as places of magic, where the veil between worlds is thin. It's no surprise, then, that Shiloh's mythology is teeming with creatures that inhabit these in-between realms. One such being is the Pinkoya, a mermaid-like entity who embodies the fertility of the sea. Picture her emerging from the waves, her long flowing hair the color of kelp, her skin shimmering like pearls. She is often depicted with a fishtail, but unlike the mermaids of European lore, the Pinkoya is said to have the upper body of a beautiful woman, her breasts full and her gaze both alluring and benevolent. The Pinkoya is a bringer of abundance, a protector of fishermen and their families. Legend has it that if she dances facing the shore, the fishing will be plentiful, the nets overflowing with bounty. But if she dances facing the open sea, it's a sign of lean times to come, a warning that the ocean's bounty is dwindling. Her presence is a reminder of the delicate balance between humanity and nature, the need to respect the sea's rhythms and to take only what is needed. She is a symbol of hope and prosperity, a testament to the enduring belief in the power of the natural world to provide. Weaving the Tales Chiloé's myths and legends are more than just stories. They connect the present to the past, weaving together indigenous beliefs and Spanish colonialism. They offer a glimpse into the soul of the Chilote people, their deep connection to the land and sea. These tales are kept alive in the oral tradition, passed down through generations. Each telling breathes new life into the legends, ensuring they remain relevant. More than just entertainment, these stories teach respect for the natural world. They provide a framework for understanding the unknown. Even in a world dominated by technology, there's room for wonder and imagination. So, as you journey through Chiloé, listen for the whispers of the wind and the rustling of leaves you might hear the echoes of these ancient tales waiting to enchant a new generation. A bounty from the sea. The cold, clear waters that surround Chiloé teem with life. The ocean dictates the rhythm of life here. Seafood is a way of life, a culinary tradition. 
the bustling fish market in Ancud is a symphony of sights and smells. Silvery fish gleam on beds of ice. Giant crabs, mussels, clams, and sea urchins tempt passers-by. The air is thick with the smell of salt and brine. An astonishing variety of seafood, much of it unfamiliar. Delicate merluza austral and meaty congrio, baskets of picarocos, a sweet and delicate barnacle. The freshness is impressive. These fish were swimming just hours ago. Respect for the ocean's bounty gives Chiloé's seafood its unique flavor. Next, let me tell you about curanto, a feast for the senses. If there's one dish that captures the essence of Chiloé's culinary spirit, it's curanto. Imagine a feast cooked in the earth itself. A large pit is dug, a fire built, and stones heated until they crackle. Shellfish, meats, and potatoes are layered, covered with nalka leaves to trap steam. The air fills with an intoxicating blend of smoke, seafood, and earth. After hours, the leaves are peeled back, revealing a feast fit for a king. Flavors of the Earth Chiloé's fertile soil produces an abundance of fruits and vegetables, tomate, chilote, papas nativas, and heirloom apples, like reneta and limona, offer unique flavors. In summer, wild strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries add bursts of sweetness. These local treasures complement the island's seafood bounty. Sharing the table. In Chiloé, food is a celebration of community and connection. Meals are opportunities to savor flavors and share stories. Whether a simple lunch or a grand curanto feast, the warmth and generosity of the Chilotes shine through. Sharing a meal here is sharing in a way of life deeply connected to the land and sea. where the wild things are. Chiloé is about raw, untamed beauty. Step off the ferry and you feel it. A wildness that gets under your skin. The air is crisp, clean, smelling of salt and earth. Rugged cliffs plunge into the churning sea. Dense forests cloak the hillsides. The sky shifts from brilliant blue to stormy gray. This is a place where the elements rule. The wind whips your hair, the rain lashes your face. It's a place that reminds you of the power of nature. At the heart of Shiloé's wild beauty lies its forests. These ancient woodlands transport you to another world. Sunlight dapples the ground, giant ferns unfurl, and towering trees reach for the sky. This is a place of deep silence, broken only by birdsong and rustling leaves, is a place to reconnect with the natural world. For bird watchers, Chiloé is a paradise. Over 100 species of birds call this archipelago home. Along the coastline, colonies of seabirds cry across the waves. In the forest, a symphony of birdsong greets you. Magnificent hummingbirds hover over flowering vines. Flocks of birds darken the sky during migrations, a spectacle that's awe-inspiring. For those who like to explore on foot, Chiloé offers a network of hiking trails. Chiloé National Park offers trails through ancient forests and up to panoramic viewpoints. Explore trails through rolling farmland and along secluded beaches. Hike to the top of Garawaihuan for stunning views of the island, for stunning.
Finding your wild side. Chiloé's natural beauty is meant to be experienced. Kayak through tranquil fjords, ride horseback along beaches, or go fishing with locals, camp under the stars, the only sounds the crackling of your campfire and the distant roar of the ocean. Embrace the wildness and discover the freedom of connecting with nature. When the day relents, as the sun sets, the sky paints the water with streaks of orange, purple, and gold. The air cools, carrying the scent of salt and wood smoke. The island settles into a quieter rhythm. Fishing boats return to harbor. Seabirds settle on rocky outcrops. The light softens, shadows lengthen, and the trees stand tall and silent. The fog rolls in. The fog descends upon the island, transforming the familiar into something otherworldly. It rolls in silently, swallowing up the coastline and hills. Visibility reduces to a few feet. Landmarks vanish. The fog lends an air of mystery to the landscape. As darkness falls and the fog swirls outside, the warmth of a fire becomes irresistible. Fireplaces crackle to life, casting a warm glow on faces gathered around them. This is a time for sharing stories and laughter. Friends and neighbors share cups of steaming mat. The warmth and generosity of Shilawe hospitality shine through. A time for stories. On Chiloé, storytelling is an art form. Gather round to hear tales of the Trauco, the Kalosha, and the Pincoya. These stories connect with the past and pass on traditions. They speak to the very soul of this magical island. The Enduring Spirit of Chiloé. We've explored the island's natural beauty and tasted its culinary delights. More than anything, we've experienced the spirit of Chiloé. It's a spirit rooted in a deep connection to the natural world and a fierce sense of community. It's in the warmth of the welcome extended to strangers, a warmth that speaks volumes about the heart and soul of this remarkable place. a place apart. Chiloé is a place apart, an island that has managed to preserve its unique identity in a world that's increasingly homogenized. It's a place where time seems to move at a different pace, where the past is not something to be forgotten, but rather a living, breathing presence. It's a place where the natural world is not something to be conquered, but rather a source of sustenance, inspiration, and wonder, a place where myth and reality intertwine, where stories are more than just entertainment, they're a way of life. It's this sense of otherness, this refusal to conform to the norms of the modern world that makes Shilawe so captivating. It's a reminder that there are still places on this earth where the old ways endure, where people live in harmony with nature and where the spirit of community thrives. The call of the island. Shiloé is not a destination for everyone. It's not a place for those seeking the comforts of all-inclusive resorts or the thrill of a non-stop party scene. It's a place for those who crave something more something deeper, something that speaks to the soul. It's a place for those who long for the sound of wind in the trees, the smell of salt air, the feel of earth beneath their feet. It's a place for those who are drawn to the mystery of ancient cultures, the power of storytelling, 
the beauty of a world untouched by modernity. If you hear the call of the island, if you feel a stirring within you that longs for something more, then perhaps it's time to heed the call. Pack your bags, leave your expectations at the dock, and prepare to embark on a journey that will stay with you long after you've left the shores of this magical place. Travel far and wide, let's take flight. See the world's wonders, day and night. From sandy beaches to mountain peaks, every adventure, a memory we keep. Join the journey, share the thrill, every video brings a new chill. From bustling cities to quiet streets, living life fully, chasing dreams. Explore with Glenn, the world world's so grand, every corner a new